What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Izzy here, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new, I extend to you a very warm welcome. Now before I get into the meat and potatoes of this video, I just want to say a quick thank you to those of you who took my school survey. You guys are definitely going to make me the coolest kid in that class with like all those responses on my survey. So again, a big thank you to my survey squad, I really appreciate you. And if you guys have not had the opportunity to take the survey, I'll still leave a link in the description so you guys can just totally spam the hell out of it. So again, thank you guys. Now in this quick little video, I really just want to kind of throw my two cents into this whole hype and hysteria here surrounding Modern Warfare 2 Remastered because I've been kind of a passive observer over the past week and I think it's time to kind of uh, make my voice heard on this one a little bit. Now I think a good way to start this video would be to kind of squash any of the negativity and any of the doubt surrounding this game, its release, and multiplayer. So I'm going to say that A, this game is going to happen and B, multiplayer is going to be in the game, hands down. I just don't see how Activision is not going to jump and slobber all over this big opportunity to make a fat stack of cash. I'm sorry, I just don't think they're that stupid. So let me say that again. This game is coming out and it is going to have multiplayer. We are going to relive the days of Modern Warfare 2. Okay, you heard it here. But what I really want to talk about are some comments that I've been seeing all around Twitter, YouTube, you name it, pretty much anywhere talking about Modern Warfare 2 that are saying, well this game is going to be a lot like Modern Warfare Remastered. This game is going to die in about a week or a month. No. Okay, no, you are wrong on so many levels. If any of you are saying that, hear me out, okay? Because I really don't think you're right on this one. Sorry. Now, my first point has to do with Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, if the leaks are correct, being a standalone game. So therefore, already, Modern Warfare 2 is not tied to a sinking ship. Because if I'm sure you remember, Modern Warfare Remastered was actually tied to Infinite Warfare. And they had a price point of, I think, like $80? Somewhere north of $80. I don't know, something like that. My dumbass just paid for whatever it was. I wanted it so bad. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, north of like 80 US dollars, I don't know. And you're spending that kind of cash on an old game. I mean, let's face it, you're not gonna spend that $80 and then have all your attention and love focus on Infinite Warfare. It's just not gonna happen, okay? It's, it's, I'm sorry, that's just not how it works. You were spending that $80 because you were a hardcore fan and because you really wanted to live Modern Warfare. That's it, that's why you spent $80. So at that ridiculously high price point, you're going to have more than a few people that are just not willing to spend that kind of money for an old game. You know, for instance, I had friends that played Modern Warfare back in the day. Now, I remember before this game was released, I was talking to them about it, asking them if they're going to buy the game, and in short, they just told me no because they're not going to spend $80 to do it. So this right here should already be a red flag to you guys saying that this game is going to be like Modern Warfare Remastered, because it's not. Okay, because like I said, if these leaks are true, Modern Warfare is going to be standalone and most likely cost less than $80, at least I hope. So there you go, already off to a great start with Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Now the second point that I want to make is Modern Warfare, as great a game as it was, as revolutionary as it was, was still pretty damn bare bones. I'd say back in the day the biggest innovation that they had was taking Call of Duty from World War II to a modern setting which I was completely hooked on, I was sold, I was all for it back in the day. And it was a fun game. Now I think going all the way up to 2016, we already had all these crazy games with all these customizable things and, 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 and score streaks and all these bells and whistles. And then going back to Modern Warfare Remastered is just kind of like a, you know, it's kind of like a downgrade honestly. Even though it was a great game, I'm not denying that, it was a great game. But it was still kind of a downgrade. But where Modern Warfare 2 completely has Modern Warfare beat is in content. I mean, just compare that to Modern Warfare's killstreak system, which was 357, and then look at Modern Warfare 2's. We were actually able to pick which killstreaks that we wanted and in which order to use them. And it was not limited to UAV, airstrike, or helicopter. But not only that, there were just so many things to grind for in that game. You had pro perks, you had more camos, and you were actually able to put more than one attachment on your weapon. You could have two with bling, man. It was insane, it was awesome. And I would say that Modern Warfare 2 really invented Call of Duty as we know it. So I would definitely say that more players today could relate with that Call of Duty than they could with Modern Warfare Remastered because Modern Warfare Remastered, like I said, was bare bones and it was old. But any new player picking up the game would just really enjoy it because it's not too different from the games that they're used to now. Now, moving on to point number three. I'm sure a lot of us played the old school COD 4 game back on our 360s or PS3s. I'm sure we did but I'm convinced that there were probably less of us playing in the prime of Call of Duty 4. 
like for instance, I started playing Call of Duty multiplayer towards the end of World at War's life cycle. So occasionally I'd play World at War and COD 4, I'd play those interchangeably. But I never really got the full experience of Call of Duty 4 at its prime, so with that being said, having less players play during the prime, I would say that the nostalgia factor is not some kind of mass nostalgia type of thing that we're experiencing with Modern Warfare 2, okay? Because what I see with COD 4 was that that was when Call of Duty was just starting to gain traction. From that game is what built Call of Duty up. So again, they're they're just they're not the same game, and the player base is definitely not the same for COD 4 as it was for Modern Warfare 2. Just putting that out there. Which brings me to my fourth and final point: the hype surrounding Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. The internet is going nuts about this game, and there's no denying that. Twitter is on fire. There's clickbait for Call of Duty on YouTube again. <laughs> I mean, the interest is just. It's increased to insane levels. And referencing my third point, I think it's just because of the sheer number of people who played Modern Warfare 2 in its prime. So again, it's like this big blanket nostalgia effect over the entire community because I'm pretty sure Modern Warfare 2 was like the first Call of Duty game that a lot of people really, really fell in love with. There was a lot of hype surrounding the game and it really lived up to the hype when you played the game. I will say that. I was very excited to play that game every day I got home from school. It was just, oh, it's coming back to me already. I'm getting excited. Now, I think it's important to note that Modern Warfare Remastered never really had this same effect on the internet as Modern Warfare 2 is having. Now again, not to hate on COD 4, I love the game, but it just didn't really capture the hype. I mean, sure, there were a few YouTubers here and there that were really excited for the game, but I mean, on the scale that we're seeing for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, it was not there. It was basically a ghost town. It was non-existent. And again, referencing my first point, I blame that on tying the game to Infinite Warfare. I think that was a big mistake. Because the game was released as a standalone in the future, but by then the hype had already died down. People were just kind of like, eh, whatever. They didn't really care that much about it because the hype had already gone down. But Modern Warfare 2... It might release on its own and be a lot less, so people can actually justify buying into the hype. I'll spend $30, $40 on a game. Hell yeah. And I'm sure everyone feels the same way. Like, that's going to be, it's going to be automatic. It's like 30 40 bucks to relive my childhood. Yeah, sign me up. All right, so I guess to recap, do not, if you are one of these people, do not compare Modern Warfare Remastered to Modern Warfare 2 Remastered because it just annoys me because it's not even close. It's not even the same. Why? Because, like I said, it's not locked behind Infinite Warfare. It's not as boring or bare bones. More people seem to remember Modern Warfare 2 and have played on it in its prime. And just the hype is too real. I mean, it's it's unlike literally anything we have ever seen for a Call of Duty game to date. It's just crazy. So that is exactly why you should never compare Modern Warfare Remastered's flop to this game at all. I think this game's going to have a great life. I think it's going to be hype as hell up until Black Ops 4 comes out. I'm calling that. I just, I think that's going to happen. I think it's safe to say that we're going to be living in a little piece of 2009 for the next six months if this game comes out when it says it's going to, which is just awesome. I cannot wait. But yeah, you guys, that should do it for this quick little video. I'm really upset that I didn't get the stream this morning. I really wanted to, but, uh, you know, internet giving me some troubles. But I had to get all this off my chest because I was starting to see it in a lot of places, and it was kind of bugging me because this situation is so much different than Modern Warfare Remastered situation. Way different. But yeah, you guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think about Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. I want to hear all about it. When did you start playing Call of Duty? Did you start playing in Modern Warfare 2 as well? Or did you start sooner or later? Let me know. But that should do it for the video. If you enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I'd greatly appreciate it. And we have a ton of fun on this channel. But yeah, you guys, other than that, that should do it. I hope you all take it easy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Save me.